We're gonna to talk today about uh, bumping and cowling the multi-ray. So things you're gonna need, you're gonna need your multi-ray, you need your four gas mix, and you wanna make sure that you are at methane 2.5% volume, 50% LAL. Like I said in the earlier videos, you always wanna check your use before, make sure your gas is current up to date. Uh, next, you need to have your hydrogen cyanide, 10 parts per million, and then your isobutylene, 100 parts per million. And that's going to be for your VOC and your regulator. This regulator is a little different than the other regulators, and we're going to use the same regulator on all three gases. Next step is to go ahead and power up your multi-ray and let it go through the warm-up sequence. Today we're going to go over calibrating the multi-ray. Take your multi-ray, turn it on, let it go through the warm-up sequence, and you're going to unscrew your dust and water filter, attach your probe, Assemble your cal gas and your regulator. On the four gas mix for the multi-ray, it's important that you have the right one. Methane, 2.5% volume, which is 50% LEL. Next, you're gonna access the calibration menu by pressing and holding these two buttons down. Select done and select. And we're gonna go down to multi sensor span select it's gonna it's asking for the four gas mix so we're gonna screw the regulator on ready and select start attach your hose to the wand it's gonna go through the 60 second countdown Okay, at the end of your 60 second countdown, you should get a pass. Looks like we got a pass on that. And disconnect our tubing. Now it's going to prompt us to calibrate HCN. Okay, we're going to select start. We're going to apply our gas. Goes through a 230 second countdown. All right, our long countdown is almost finished. So we got a pass, we can disconnect our HCN. Next, it's gonna ask us to calibrate VOC. We're gonna select yes, and then we're gonna move our regular. So now we've got our isobutylene set up. We're gonna hit start, connect our tubing to our pump. We're gonna go through a 60 second countdown. All right, we're done with our VOC calibration. We got a pass on that, so we can disconnect our gas. And then we go back and back again. And our unit should go a new alarm because there's a little residual. wait for our sensors to clear out. Meanwhile, we can unscrew our wand and reattach our filter. So we're waiting for a little bit of residual HCN to clear out. Once that's done, you can turn your instrument off, record in the data log your results, whether you did a cow or a bump, and pass or fail. If you do get a fail on bump, uh, go immediately into calibration. If you get a fail on calibration, so take the unit out of service and send it in. Today we're going to talk about the multi-ray and some of the features and use. So on the bottom of the multi-ray, this is your charging port adapter. Charging cable attaches there. That's the only use for this. On the back, you have a battery. Slide this lock forward and lift the battery out. This rubber case right here is removable by taking out these two hex screws and then screwing this. And that'll allow you to gain access to replace sensors. We're gonna go through the menu setup here and talk about uh, using your PID and your LEL sensor to select different target gases. So to get into that menu, 
you press and hold the right button, two right and middle buttons. And then we're gonna enter in a password. The password is four zeros. Don't tell anyone. Okay, once we're in the here, we're gonna select over in the measurement menu. Select that. And we're gonna go to change our measurement gas. Select. And we're gonna go to, uh, show you how to do VOC first. <clears throat> so on our VOC list, we can have my list, which is the custom gases. Last 10, it shows the last 10 we used, and then the gas library. So these are all the gases that we can select for our VOC. So let's say we're gonna go and we're gonna find gasoline. Now you only wanna do this when you are sure that what you're gonna monitor for is exactly what you're gonna select. Otherwise, keep it in isobutylene um, or for your five gas or for your LEL, keep it in nothing. Gasoline, there it is. Okay. Select, save. Now we're going to back out to the menu menu, and we're going to scroll through the screen here. So we're going to see that our VOC, calibration gas, isobutylene, measurement gas, gasoline. LEL, calibration gas, oh dang, turn this off. Okay, we're going to talk about uh, how to set up. Let's stop. Okay, we're going to talk about the multi ray, how to select different gases. Good afternoon, we're going to talk about the features of the multi ray, how to access some of the menu items. So, first, we're going to go over charging. Down here is your charging adapter. You connect your charging cord right there. This is removable, and you don't need it to use the instrument. On the back, this is your battery pack. Simply slide this tab forward. You can remove your battery pack. To remove the um, protective case, Phillips head screwdriver to remove this, and then two hex heads to remove this. Uh, all right, up top you have your dust and water filter, and then you can unscrew this to access your PID lamp. Now we're gonna go into the menu. Press and hold the middle and the right button. Password zero, zero, zero. Don't tell anyone. Scroll over to measurement and select. Change measurement gas, select. You can choose between VOCs and LELs. So we're gonna select VOCs. And you can choose my list, which is a custom list. The last 10 you've used, or the gas library. Gas library has over 200 different gases. So we're going to scroll down to acetone because we know we have an acetone leak. We're going to select acetone and then save it. And now we're going to back out. It's going to apply settings. We're going to scroll through the user menus until we get to our calibration and measurement screen. So it looks over here, our calibration gas is isobutylene, and the measurement gas is acetone. It's gonna show you the correction factor. You scroll over next, you're on the LEL. Calibration gas is methane, measurement is methane. It's a good thing to get in the habit of just checking that out and making sure that um, you're, you're on the right gas. Methane should be your default gas for LEL, and isobutylene should be your default gas for your VOCs. Okay, we're gonna go back into the menu. And I want to put it back to isobutylene, so I'm going to go back to my last 10, select isobutylene, select, save, and now I'm ready to monitor an isobutylene. I'm just going to confirm that. Cal gas, isobutylene, measurement isobutylene, so we're good. LEL, methane, methane, so we're good. 
That's how you uh, change your measurement gases.